Hello friends, welcome back. So right now if I click the categories, uh, yeah, we don't have the index method in the category controller. And the same for the pose. And what I'm going to do in this video now is when we click the categories, uh, display the index page for categories and render all of the categories in a table in the Laravel split table. So if we go here to display the dev documentation, and we have a table component here, go to the overview and you can find also this video here to explain you how you can uh, add table split, use the split table in the controller and also in the blade. So for that I have created, so if I open the VS code, I have created the factories for category. I added the name in the slug and for the post also i created post factory and i added title slug description and category id one okay then i run i added the category factory create 10 and post factory create 10. so we have right now in the database if i open the uh, split database yeah, we have posts and we have 10 of them and categories 10 of them. So let's display them in the table when we click here. First thing we need to go inside the app HTTP controllers and in the category controller first, let's create the index method. So let's say method index, so public function index and here let's get all the categories i'm going to say dollar sign categories is going to be equal with category all and then and then let's return the view categories index and other categories here for right now let's import that and let's create the file and the folder categories so let's navigate inside the resources views and create a new categories uh, folder and inside here a new file index.blade.php so index.blade.php and what i'm going to do go to the dashboard and select all copy and paste it here change this dashboard to be categories and inside here now is going to be the table let's save and let's see if i refresh go to the categories yeah we have categories here now let's display the table here and if we can see we need to return the array with what do we want so we want categories and use the split table facade or here we have user class but we are going to use different so let's copy this one and let's navigate in the controller and instead of compact categories we need to add an array and add not users but categories import the split table from the proton media split split table and instead of for user class i'm going to say for dollar sign categories or we can remove this and say category class like this and I'm going to paginate by uh, five. Okay, I think I saved. Yeah, now if I come and refresh, nothing happened. What we need, we need to add the X split table component and bind the four for what value we want to add here inside the, the uh, view. So let's copy that and let's go in the view we created earlier. So the categories index blade and in here now i'm going to remove this and add the x split table but not for users for 
categories, save and refresh. Okay, I have the categories stake there and yeah here we have now the table very easy to add and we can change the per page number and we have here the pagination we, yeah we don't have the email here sorry for that we have the name and the slack good we can reset and navigate very good now if i come here also what i want also you can create a table class so for example php artisan make table uh, categories but i'm going to leave and so let's return only this one instead of something like this but i'm going to go in the built-in query builder also we have spotty query builder but i'm going to use this one and let's say I'm going to add the search input but not I'm going to add a global search what I want I want to make a sort table to true as you can see here so if I don't want what I want I want to add this one can be hidden true or false so inside the column name can be hidden with the say false for example and now a refresh we have only the slack which can be hidden and not the name good next what i said is to add uh, also the sortable so let's copy that and add inside here sortable to true and now let's refresh and we can sort by the name as we can see and let's sort by name as you can see here we have categories sort by name if i sort by minus name and if i copy this and come here and paste it yeah if i navigate to the page two yeah we have sort minus name and page two okay then what do we want we have the oh yeah and the last one is to add the search and also you can add default sort so if you have also the the sort for the slug and you want the default to be name you can say default sort name yeah, I want to add the global search, so let's uh, just copy this. And I'm going to paste it. Remove this and paste it right here with global search, which is going to be columns, just name. You can add also another one, but I'm going to say just name right now. And let's come here and refresh. And we have the search let's reset first and let's search for the person so let's say and yeah we have the search okay now you can find more customization if you like so default sort searchable sortable and can be hidden select filter and bulk action exports and also add the spotty query builder but for now we are okay and the same thing i want to do for the post so let's copy this method let's navigate in the post controller and paste this one here change the categories to be uh, posts import the split table from proton media split and in the post we need to display the title the global search is going to be title also the slug and what we can add the description but we are okay just the title and the slug for now 
and let's save oh yeah here we need to say not category but post and import the app mode as post save and now let's create the post index and what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this and paste it rename the B posts and go inside the index blade change the categories to be posts and here we need to add posts save come here and we get in the post now yeah we have the title and the slug okay We have the search, so let's search for this one. Very good. We can reset. We have the pagination. We have the sort table. Okay. And we just hide the slug. This is how easy it is to add the table with search using the, the splayed table component okay friends i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much